Righto. Well, we are on our way down to um, Ford to pick up the new Raptor. New Raptor. So I'm pretty pumped. This is my first ever brand new car that I've bought myself. Um, everything I've had in the past has always been second hand. So pretty damn excited. So yeah, we're just uh, just here in Trev's. Trev's Raptor, he's just in the shop at the moment. I'm just gonna grab some breakfast and then cruise down to Ford. And yeah, I downloaded the Ford Pass app the other night and uh, put my VIN number and stuff in and connected my phone to the to the vehicle. So just gotta activate that when I get there this morning. And yeah, we'll go through the whole delivery process and we'll actually, yeah, how they deliver the vehicle, run through everything with them and show you guys exactly what, what happens when you buy a brand new Raptor, uh, so you guys can get the full experience with me today. So yeah, and pretty much, yeah, documenting my first ever brand new vehicle purchase, so pretty pumped. So we're gonna grab some brekkie and grab a coffee and stuff now, and then we'll be, uh, be on our way. So, good old Guzmani. So, in full disclaimer with this, like, I didn't get any special treatment from Ford. I didn't get any sort of discount on this car. I paid 98000 for this vehicle. So, yeah. If you guys think that, because I have a relationship with Ford and Ford's invited me to a bunch of stuff, they gave me a Raptor and that, thinking that I might have got special treatment, I didn't. So, yeah, 98 grand I paid for this car, my own money. But, yeah, just want to be upfront with you guys and let you know that that's, that's the scenario here and there's no special treatment, so now I'm broke. <laughs> well, I'm not broke, I'll be dead. Here we are, ready to go on. Get in the new Raptor. Excited? Yes. <laughs> Pretty pumped. brand new car. Very nice. Let's go find someone to <laughs> sell it to me. All right, we're here with Corey. He's gonna do the handover for yeah. my new Raptor. Thing looks absolutely sick. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you, Ty. Can't, uh, can't wait, man. Got your keys. Sweet. Got your books. Let's do it. I'm very excited. <laughs> so you've got all your keyless entry. Yep. Got two keys as well. Then of course you've got your Ford Pass app, which uh, you're aware that you can remote start it, remote unlock it, remote track it, yep. everything like that. And it's a mutual handshake with Ford Australia that they can also just monitor the engine temps, everything like that, and get diagnostics off your car. Yep. Uh, that's all included. You've got your little booklet just there. Book the booklet there, yep. You've got your service portfolio, owner's manual. You've got all your rego papers, everything just in there. You've got the card, the tenner. Yep. And then, of course, jump on in. <laughs> Feel free to start her up. Just never gets old, this thing. Mate, I've handed <laughs> over a few of these and it never gets old. Either. Nah, it just they doesn't. the Mustangs, they take the cake. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Of course, 
got all your different uh, drive modes, so steering, dampeners, and then exhaust. Yep. Of course, the fun one, Baja. Yep. This thing is so sick. <laughs> uh, these are an absolute weapon. Yeah. I would have done extremely well with the R&D on these. Absolutely, they have. No, just the, the test vehicles that I've had and some of the, the stuff that we've done towing and jumping it and it's just it is the most fun you can have in a production vehicle 100 percent things that, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i actually i told ford what i was going to do with the red one and they're like yeah do it so <laughs> i i built a jump um because that's what i do for a living build motocross tracks and stuff like that so yep. i built a pacific jump for the raptor and yeah made a video about it and there we yeah, go. it was awesome so <laughs> So you got all your my mode, so you can customize it. Yep. So you can just press one button, sort of like a hotkey. Yep. And so you can set it all up. So you're steering, your dampener, and your exhaust. Did you want to go through and like customize that, put it into a drive mode? And yeah, set yep. that all up for you? Yeah, yep, yep. All right, so would you like to go into like sports? Because you've got your actual drive modes on your dial. Yep. And then we can change the actual dampeners and put your exhaust on Baja. So multiple combinations we can go through. Yep. Your exhaust is set to Baja, and that auto start stop is off yeah, perfect. Definitely don't want that thing on. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it takes away from all the fun. Yeah, it, so. yeah, hundred percent. Yep. Be a little trip computers, your fuel economy, auto start stop. You can see who's wearing seat belts. Like there is a lot of technology now in this car. It is insane. So we'll reset all the trip computers. Obviously, you're not going to need 99.9 liters per hundred unless you're absolutely giving it to it. We're flat bicky at that point every day. <laughs> <laughs> but that's both of them you can just go through and all your fuel economy. Yep. It's simply just pushing down that OK, just flicking through, and away we go. You've got the full digital uh, cluster, so you can go through and customise that just by going back again and then going down into uh, settings. Then you can go configure gauges, so you can show up what your left one is, so oil pressure, boost vacuum, battery voltage, you can just customize this how you want it. Yeah. That's the best thing. There's so many features to be able to set it up how you exactly want it, yeah. And depending on which one you want to see, like you might just want to see your boosts, might want to see your battery voltage, even just uh, engine oil temp. Like, yep. Just depends what you're doing and what you prefer to have up on your screen at all times. Yep. I've had had multiple of the media ones already, so kind of gone through heaps of the settings and stuff, but just wanted to, yeah, go through the process when people buy a Ford product, what the actual handover is like, and yep. so they can experience it too, and not have to spend 98 grand. <laughs> <laughs> but you should, because it's friggin' awesome. So with the app, I can control, like starting the car, unlocking it, locking it. Correct. What yep. and it, uh, does so it track the car too? It does, so okay. it'll tell you where the exact address is. Yep. So you can always see where it is if you've lent your car to a mate, which I don't know if you would lend this one to a the mate. Easy, Trev. You can see your uh, fuel, so as well, your range, distance to empty. Yep. It'll alert you, like if there's uh, washer bottles empty, engine light, anything like that. Oh, it's awesome. a full, like, kit it out. And like I said, it's a mutual handshake with Ford. Yep. So Ford will monitor and get diagnostics off the car, engine temp, everything. Yeah, okay, yep, yep. And that way they can just see how the car's performing. But then if you go to the vehicle. Vehicle, yep. You can see the exact address. Yep. You can see the exact odometer. So we've got 27 Ks and we've got 27 Ks just down there. Yep, okay. So yep. it tells you exactly. And then you can see your fuel range. So 547. Yep. Just there. No alerts. Checking your status. You can check tire pressure. Yep. You can check the oil life all from your phone. So yep. you can just pull it up at any time. Features and settings, you can control your zone lighting when the car's off and your headlights are turned off. Yep. And that's just the 360 degree basically zone lighting right around. And Ford's new trailer light check. So if you're towing with the car, you can uh, don't need Trev anymore to stand at the back and go left blinker, yeah. right blinker. <laughs> you can just run it, press a button, let it run its sequence for you. Yeah. And you can go and visually check them. Yeah, no, that's a bloody awesome feature, that thing. Yep, absolutely. And then of course, that's all paired with your electric brake controller just there. Yep. So that's all integrated into the dash, nice and flush for you. Yeah, sick. Cool. So then we have service, like service. So service, roadside assistance. Okay, yep. So Ford, they provide the NRMA roadside assistance with your purchase, and all you have to do to maintain that is keep servicing it with the Ford dealer. Yeah, okay, cool. And of course you can schedule the service right from the app. Yep. You can run the trailer checklist, so before you tow, just everything you should go over, just double check. 
and of course you can access like warranty and a quick reference guide then the best thing is if you go map so wherever you are in australia and you go dealer oh, that's charging go dealers it brings up all your local dealers yeah see. cool and that'll be wherever you are in australia yeah sweet that way you know where your nearest four dealer is and away you go awesome that's like like just so much more integration with buying a new car to have all, all that, the, all the fingertips. yeah yeah it, everyone's got an iphone or a samsung these days it's always in your hand or in your pocket yeah especially if you're traveling and want to find a dealer to have the car serviced if, if you're on the road or touring or whatever and 100 yeah and then if you or if you do have a problem you can sort it out so yeah that's absolutely that app's absolutely awesome so you got all your radar crews yep or adaptive crews which you can control just down there yep so setting your distance setting in the cruise control itself and then lane keeping so that's always on now so you can turn that off but you can disable that every single time you hop into the car yep so it's just one press and then another one and then it shows you just there on the screen that the lane keeping system is off should you want to turn that off but always have mine on because i personally drive wild track myself so you've got automatic wipers on these ones yep. which are all set now for you they go along with the auto headlights so you don't need to worry about turning your headlights on or off camera will sense basically the light level and away you go then of course you've got your fog lights that auto headlights as well as your high beam so the car is more than capable of sensing when to turn the high beam on and when to turn it off for incoming traffic and that goes along with your performance leds so they're the ones that are self-level so you don't have the leveling switch here mm -hmm. and then you've got your brightness display so plus and minus controls all the brightness of all the screens for you so if it ever gets too bright of a night time just press it down until you're happy oh. there's a lot of technology in this so we'll keep stopping every now and then just to make sure yeah yep. and if you've got any just fire away let's go yep no worries too easy i'm getting out of phone search for your vehicle on your device and oh. select it once it is found Ford yep. Ranger. Now this one here is Ford's emergency assistance. So basically it'll attempt to call emergency services using your paired phone if you're in basically a significant accident. Okay, yep. So would you like me to turn that on for you? Yeah, yep, yep. So when you're pairing a phone, just that one there, and tap and finish. So now if you're ever in an accident and the car's it sense like all airbags, everything, it'll go to call emergency services because I think you're unresponsive. That's awesome. Ford that is, yeah, feature. that's legit. That's awesome. And then enabling your wireless Apple CarPlay, so you can see the maps, you can control your Spotify, and as well, so if you've got a nice track you want to play, because you've got the Bang & Olsen speakers, which are the 10 speaker with something amp behind the car, or you can tap the screen and use the slider, and of course, changing your positions, tapping the little man, and you can have all three zones going at once, so windscreen, uh, face and feet, or you can have just your face and feet, or windscreen and feet, depending on which one you want. Under your six buttons at the top, you can flick between your radio, phone, the built-in nav, your media, Apple and Android Auto, and then of course, owner's manual has now been digitized. So not only do you have the physical copy still, mm -hmm. but you've got one that's always in the car, so you can sit in the car with the car running, and you can actually go through, you can go to categories, and just scroll right through, so even just like tailgate. And then you can go opening the tailgate, goes right through everything and you chuck those in the glove box in the glove box and then of course you've got your secondary glove box just up there yep for all your bits and pieces and then you've got a little parcel shelf for the passenger and then both you and the passenger have cup holders right in front of the ac vents keep your can of coke or a bottle of water you don't yep. know what you're going to have in here probably water that way if anyone spills it it's easier to clean and start going through all your controls so again, you can access the camera. So that's the 360 degree view. Brings up your front one, and then like the drone just over your car, showing you right around your car. Yep. You can change it all up using just your little buttons there. So all your different zones, they're just sensors. Little, um, I'm not sure what that view is for. I prefer the 360, which is- Yeah, that's tastes so better, yep. Just a little bit clearer and you can see. Yep. But as well to go along with the trailer light check, you can put it into a bird's eye view right above the tow ball so you can line it up. Again, you don't need your mate to be there lining up the trailer or doing the trailer uh, light check for you. Yeah, I didn't even, we didn't mess with that when we did no. the towing one. Uh, no. We're finding out some new stuff anyway. So. <laughs> but it's 
so much tech in this car. Yeah, oh, there is. Yeah, like even having having a Raptor for two months, I still didn't go through all this. It's it's crazy how much is actually in it. It's and that's awesome. our job as Ford sales consultants. We go through and we show you exactly what you purchase for your money. Yep. And like I said, these cars. They are insane. There's so much technology in them now. Mm. Ford have done an excellent job. Yeah, no nah, stuff I'm still finding out. Now you can turn on the auto hold, so when you've come to a complete stop, it'll hold the pressure on the brake pedal. You don't need to hold your foot on the brake pedal. So whether you've trained legs at the gym or you suffer from cramps or anything <laughs> like that, away you go. Oh, so yeah, that's that's funny. And then you've got your towing, so you can add in a, a trailer if you're to constantly towing the one trailer, so dimensions, everything like that. Mm -hmm. and that'll incorporate it into your blind spot monitoring if it's within set parameters. And that way, it basically thinks that the car is X amount long instead of just its normal width. Yep. It's really handy. I've used it before as well. Like, again, another amazing feature. Of course, zone lighting and then off-road, which brings up your off-road screen, so it can show you dynamic guidelines line it up with any uh, ruts or anything like that say on the high side you yep. know exactly where your front wheels are pointing of course you can go right through you can lock your front diff rear diff and engage sort of like your uh, rock rolls now most of the controls have little buttons just there on this uh, center console mm -hmm. so if you press that one just there for me that brings it up so a little shortcut so you don't actually have to go into the settings yeah okay yeah then if you press it again it closes it all down for you so all little shortcuts that Ford have thought about just make it easier access yeah especially off-road so you're not trying to press a button on a screen and you can just hit a button to, uh, yeah track where you're driving or happen to pull over and stop it's yep. just literally all there this car is actually capable of parking itself okay so it is we were asking that question me and Trev didn't know if it could actually park itself so that's that's legit of course driver assistance so you can go right through and you can start customizing it so that's an auto hold cruise control you can turn off either adaptive or back to normal mm -hmm. you can turn on uh, lane centering so you can turn that off you can turn on the street sign uh, recognition which now on your dash it'll display basically what the last uh, street sign it's read and yep. if you ever forgot what the uh, speed limit was it will always be down here on your dash for you now. that's cool and of course going right through so lane keeping pre-collision so you can adjust all the sensitivity, everything, just by going through all these sub-menus. You can turn on the rear camera delay, so when you've shifted between um, reverse and drive, it just doesn't instantly turn the rear camera off, mm -hmm. it has that delay until you're either at speed or about, I think it's 20 seconds. Okay, yep. Then of course you've got your BLIS, which is your blind spot monitoring. You've got your park pilot sensors, and of course you've got cross traffic alert. So if you're reversing out of a car park at your local shops and someone just darts behind you, It'll tell you which way they're coming from, and it'll have the audio and the uh, visual warning on the screen, and then you'll, it'll be beeping at you. If you keep going backwards, your reverse brake assist will engage, and it'll stop you. Okay. So that's all through there, which you can turn on or off. I always leave it all on, because mm -hmm. I mean, who wants to be uh, putting one of these cars in the workshop? You want to have it in pristine condition. Vehicle, so your power down timer, your rear occupant alert, so it'll let you know uh, basically check the rear seats for any kids and then of course you can go through the my key key detection alert so they'll tell you if the keys in the car or not then of course your alarm system remote startup so this is all to do with your Ford pass so you can either disable it or leave it on your climate control will leave to auto so that's where the car will decide whether it needs the AC or the heater and of course your seats are auto so that'll either turn their uh, heated seats on or leave them off and then of course duration so on the Ford Pass app, it'll automatically turn the car off in five minutes if you're not out, and push the button, like the start button in the car, and away you go. Okay. Now you can change that, so your duration is either five, 10, or 15, so it depends which one you'd like to type. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at five. Just leave it at five? Yep. Then of course, your windows, so global open, global close, so that's that little trick with the keys, which mm -hmm. I can show you, and that'll uh, drop all the windows, just let all the hot air out. Yeah, my F truck does the same thing. Yeah, yeah. That's just, it's so it's so funny to see like having my F truck from twenty like twenty fourteen, yep. and the technology that they had back then in America, and then slowly see it get phased out in Australia. The same sorts of things, different bits and pieces. It's it's yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool. So you can go through. Of course, you can turn on quiet start if you don't want to annoy your neighbours. As well, you got your wipers, which are all rain sensing, or you can do the courtesy wipe. There's so many settings that you can keep going through. 
like your headlamps, you can turn them off. Um, so when you turn the car off, after 20 seconds they'll shut off, or you can change it to off 10 seconds or 120 seconds, mm -hmm. depends on how long you want them to stay on for. Then of course, locks, so you can go through, change up how many doors unlock, uh, everything like that, chirp. So if one door isn't shut properly, it'll chirp at you. Like, so many like settings you can go through. Mirrors are the main one that I always turn on for everyone. That way, when you're parked in the shopping center, you lock your car, mirrors will automatically fold in. No one's gonna be pushing past them, bending them the wrong way, breaking them on you, yep. everything like that. They fold in nice and neat to the car. Then of course you go general, and that just controls all your language, your temperature, measurements. Obviously tire pressure, you want back into PSI. Mm -hmm. Then of course you can go through display, so you can do the uh, mode, so that's either the light and dark mode like your uh, phone, so depending on which one you want, or you can leave it to auto, let the car sort itself out. Then you have a calm screen and you can adjust the brightness as well. Then you can go through the clock, so you can have, set it, you have 24 hour time, auto time update, so if, like right now if you had to take it up to Queensland, maybe cross the border, it would revert back and out for you automatically, without you having to go into the clock and change it. That's awesome. And then connectivity, so you can go through, you can connect it up to your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you can just manage everything. System updates, so if it's connected up to Wi-Fi, it'll uh, remain up to date for you. So, so is that would that run off your Wi-Fi at home or just like just your phone? Uh, so Wi-Fi at home and then you can also hotspot it. Okay, yep, yeah, right. So and it'll do automatically automatic updates to the system. To sync for you. Yeah. yeah, okay, sweet. And as you can see there, your system is up to date. Basically that's gonna complete your sync 4 system for you. Have any questions so far? Nah. It's just sick. <laughs> <laughs> like yep. I said, there is a lot to cover in this car. Oh there is. There's just so much and you could it'd take literally I reckon a whole day to go through every single thing yep. that it can do and that you can change and yeah. The more you drive it, like the more familiar it'll get with the car, yep. everything. Like You'll just go, oh yeah, bang, 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 and it becomes second nature. Yeah, 100%. And like even having one for two months, I still didn't find half these features that it does have, so it's it's absolutely insane. All right, now we're gonna run through, done the cabin, there is just so much in the cabin to go through, so we're gonna go through the engine now. So there you go, you got Ford's uh, three liter twin turbo petrol V6. So the newest addition into the Raptor range, so where they've changed over from the fly turbo, made it the V6 petrol. So again, this thing here is an absolute weapon. This is... Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun. Like, words cannot even describe what this car can do. Oh like, yeah. It's insane. Yeah, it's absolutely the funnest thing that I've driven in a long time. So, so you've had it uh, on the beach, everything like that. Yep. I'm uh, yet to be able to take one of these on the beach and I reckon I'd have so much fun. Oh well. yeah, the fuel gauge just goes <laughs> <laughs> Too much heavy foot. Uh, mate, buying one of these cars, it is forward performance. Yeah, 100%. You have the fun. Yep. It's finally got the motor now that it, it deserved. So, yeah, it's awesome. Then of course you've got your 329 cap price servicing for the first four years, 60,000 case. Yeah, awesome. Cool. And again, whichever comes first. But that way, for the first four years or 60,000 k, it's 329 for general servicing. Any additional work is additional costs, mm -hmm. but for a general service, it's all you'll pay. Yep. So, two under seat storages, tools to start changing over your spare tyre. Of course, one tab on the back, folds it back down, exposes your jack, there's your sub, and there's your amp. And of course, cool. two tether points. Yep. So, you can bring the kids along. You know, have some fun. Has taken about six months to get it, but yeah, no, nah, it's um absolutely awesome. Oh, thanks, mate. Really appreciate it. Not a problem. Tom. So it's yeah, a pleasure showing you oh. through your new car. <laughs> I'm frothing, brand new car. It's friggin' awesome. So.
first drive today in the Raptor. I've noticed a few features have actually changed um, since the demo version that I had, the media one, which is um, really weird, but sick day. Just come down to Redhead Beach for a look, have some lunch, and now we're going to go and see Trent about how he's going with the caravan wrap. We'll go and see if he's thrown his printer off the mezzanine floor that he said he was going to do earlier because it wasn't working for him. So we'll go and see Trent, see what he's up to, but I love this car. This car is so awesome. If you're thinking about getting one and you haven't driven one, go and test drive one and yeah, you'll absolutely be frothing like I am. Thing is bloody just so sick. <laughs> 